Yo, 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 welcome to Crate 808, the 90s rock... Yo, 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 welcome to Crate 808. It's going to shoot all my way in. I don't get to say it. I don't ever get to say that. Did right, you just call it a rock podcast? The, I was going to call it... rock podcast. <laughs> Are you doing another podcast on the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more, we'll it's just more surprised. niche. <laughs> Wouldn't be. So. Yeah, just talking about does. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> yeah, Kurt Cobain and uh, the Foo Fighters. That's what I talk about. Most overrated band of all time. So. Whoever he's got on that podcast, he tells them what to wear as well, and then they probably do exactly <laughs> what they're told as well, don't they? But I love I... how it's uniform day today. Look at these two. <laughs> it is. Uh, before I'm not even going to bother with my intro. I'll use that for another time. Let's just say, <laughs> let's just say, the crew are back together. The the, <laughs> the Boom Bap Crusader Ray Ridge. And uh, the new key rap nerd, James Midwinter, in the house. How are you doing, boys? How's it going, mate? Very good. Brute How's boom. It it's nice to see you on YouTube, isn't it? This cool. It's like, yeah, oh, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's exciting time. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I should have done some push-ups beforehand or something just to look a little bit more. <laughs> Get like, a little yeah, yeah. This, this is what I usually look like. Yeah, just not gonna help, mate. What was that? Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> it's not gonna help, Ray. It's not gonna help. No, you're not. you're you've still called the police on a homeless man. Remember, no matter what happens, you can do whatever yeah. you want. But the fact that you, you brought that up in the other episode, we're never we're never gonna get won't past be, that. Won't be the last time. <laughs> <laughs> he takes as he swings beer. Um today we're doing something slightly different. We're going to do a Crate 808 mailbag because we've had a lot of correspondence from all the fans. So big up. Thank you, everyone, for, uh, well, we put out quite a few things, topics we wanted to talk about, and we got a load of response. So we're going to try to get some of that out there for you guys. Uh, but before we do, I'm going to do a bit of housework, lads, before I even ask you any of the questions. People out there, can you please subscribe and like this video? Go tell your mates. Let's grow this YouTube you got following. Thing. you got to point to the thing. Oh, okay. what, this? Smash right. it. Smash the Smash subscribe it. button. Smash the subscribe is. button, I'm guys. We're yeah. noobs. We're old men noobs at this game. So <laughs> so w whatever you guys do, can you please either add, the, add to the comments? And uh, yeah, now we can get to the fun stuff, lads. What's the least Yay. hip hop thing you two have done in the last 24 hours? And I don't want to go to Ray Ridge first for this one. Ray, what, what's the least hip hop thing you've done? Um, Actually... Um, I don't know if you can see, hang on. Can you see my fridge? Yeah. Can, hang on, let me get the pic there. Can you yeah. see it's got like, yeah. it's got like, it's it, the color of it. So I've been, mm -hmm. yeah, I've just been sticking the vinyl sticker on my fridge. And I've, and on my, um, the, this is, it's not, it's not, I was thinking of having some like witty reference to some hip hop tune, you know. Mm. Hang on a sec. Okay. Oh, fuck. Are, are you still doing? here? Yeah, yeah, we're still here. Look at that background to my bed. Oh, look at this. Jesus Christ. Wow, wait. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? <laughs> wow. The lady right. is like, I don't know what to hours. say to that. Fucking hours. Wait, let me let me plug my, plug my shit back in. Hang on a second. I don't know <laughs> what to say to that. Honestly, that's the most playeristic, but also like, you know, those like 80s geeky kids who used to wear jumpers with wolves on? And like, <laughs> do you remember? You remember those kids? It feels like you're that. You've just done that, but with your bedroom wall. So anyone who comes, are you trying to impress? You've got a. No one's coming scene. in there, mate. No one's coming in. There, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. In it, looks, it looks fucking cool, doesn't it? I saw it. I was just it, on. It does. I think uh, I was looking at shit on Etsy one night, and yeah. like, then you, yeah, yeah. you go down a rabbit hole. It starts with just like the pictures. And then like, mm. oh, like sticky back things. Oh, stuff for the fridge. Oh, stuff for the water. Then there was, it was so hard not to buy the full size, like Star Wars war background kind of thing. It's like, oh, you know what? This, that, yeah. That's the moment where you bring a girl back. And she's like, so yeah, I, th I think I've got some plans. I need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that a girl's going to walk in there and go, have I just walked into George R.R. R. Martin's bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> How many elves are in that room? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? How many rings have you thrown into Mordor, to the depths of Mordor from that room? Uh, it's incredible. I, I, I'm I, stunned, is what I'd say. Uh, that's very least hip-hop. I, th I don't think anyone's going to get I don't think I can see that, that this week. 
Let's talk I know, about James. Research. What have you got, James? Just to... mine are really, mine are really dull. I, I've been, I did a, I started a Trello yesterday. I did, I've been doing putting together some Trello boards. You ever done Trello before? I use Trello at work, my friend. Do yeah, you? it's very unhip hop, isn't it? It is. It's it's quite um, yeah, it's quite in the know business guy. You yeah, it's like it, the business yeah. version of Pinterest. So like, <laughs> it's not it's, on so many is. levels. It's not hip hop. So yeah, no, I couldn't, I couldn't beat Ray. It's very rare that I lose, but that yeah. Really, yeah. yeah, that's really, yeah. I just keep thinking of like, just what, why, why Ray bought that? But, but I, I love like it. it. I, I think love it looks it. great. Yeah. Well, the, I just room what is, made the, room is, a... the room is lacking something for ages and I just, I don't know. I just mm. thought, so right. go for it. Why not? Fucking, I love the cushions yeah, as well, by the way, Ray. Let's not sleep on the cushions. Yeah, the cushions, the cushions are great. Are very, very, very you, dope. Very I, do, I do sleep on the cushions. That's what we're here for. I'd love to say that, you know, I've, laid them out there deliberately for the pod but that's actually where they always are so <laughs> it does look very deliberate it says deliberate yeah, as mine does. look <laughs> sound <laughs> wave just up there look sound wave i mean i do kind of I, you know when people sit there and move stuff around i have got to make, make a point of making sure they're the right way up so you can see what albums they are you know people just throw <laughs> yeah. them down upside down and, yeah Ugh. idiots no you're, so you're not respecting you're not respecting the albums there, look how bright and vibrant your houses are compared to my white studio box <laughs> that i'm living in <laughs> <laughs> devoid of oh. personality next time we see jumbo we just have loads of stuff on the walls now <laughs> yeah loads, loads of pimp c and ugk merch <laughs> all over the place <laughs> I'm here for that. I'm here for that. <laughs> uh, my least hip hop thing, very small, but um, you know the immediacy of when you know, oh, this is the least hip hop thing I'm going to do. Uh, a bit like when you wore your mum's bathing suit to surfing, Jumbo, that time. I didn't uh, wear a bathing suit. I wore a wetsuit. It's very different. That'd be really <laughs> creepy if I wore a bathing suit. <laughs> Either way, uh, just the idea of you in a woman's bathing suit now is there. Uh, but no, I was going to say, this is the Bay of the Butcher's new album. Uh, I still really like that album. Uh, and then I remembered that I was halfway through an Andy Townsend podcast and I switched over. And I thought, what would I rather listen to on my walk right now? And it, uh, and I went from Benny the Butcher to Andy Townsend. Are you Alan Partridge? I, honestly, I don't, I don't know if Alan Partridge knows who Andy Townsend is. I don't know how many people listen to this pod. Knows oh, no, Andy I was Townsend thinking is. Andy McNabb there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, Andy, Andy Townsend, Townsend for people who don't right. know, is an ex-footballer for Aston Villa who used to run up and down the pitch blowing like a trumpet. It felt like he, it looked like he was blowing a trumpet. And he has some really good stories about being with Ireland. And I was like, oh, hold on. I'd rather listen to that, I think, rather than Benny the Butcher. And that was my least hip-hop thing there you go the the act just the daunting silence from everyone is is exactly what, what, i think what you I win to. actually with that mate <laughs> yeah true maybe uh but lads uh we're going to jump into this mailbag before we do rap rotation what's everyone listening to at the moment james what, what you got on your rap rotation mate i haven't really been listening to too much rap recently uh, i've been mm-hmm. listening to the new west side gun a little bit but i have been you might not be the listeners might not like this but i've been mm. into a bit of hip house recently hip i put in house? i put together uh channel you know channel trez i don't know uh channel trez and like uh gaucho lust work that lust work they're like um sort of rap mixed with house uh in a kind of detroit style it's really it's good i think you'd like i think people are into hip-hop if you're into electronic music as well i think you'd really get into it right Uh, it's great there's a little bit of g-funk mixed in with channel trez stuff like i think i think you could get into it i think ray might like it as well Uh, okay it's it's good and then also i wanted to talk to you guys about whether you'd heard (laughs) it's terrible and this is why I wanted to talk to you about it. But uh, have you heard 6.45 AR, uh, any oh. of his music? Yeah, the guy with the mask on. Uh, I don't know if he's got a nah. I don't think he's got a mask. No, no, he's not got a mask on. Oh, no, no, I'll get the wrong one. Who, go on, tell me about he's 6.45 very, very AR. High, very, very high. Pitch. Oh, the squeaky guy. The fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've, yeah, I've heard this guy. guy. You, have you genuinely got into his albums? Have you genuinely no, got into his albums? No, I haven't got into it. I thought I, I did think maybe I should pretend I have and that I'm only into squeaky hip-hop now, but, <laughs> but no one's going to believe that. It's so bad. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's really yeah, hot, yeah. though, actually. I don't... I've got a feeling, I, I, it's a, got a feeling I'm not going to like it. 
I think yeah. you should listen to it, Ray, just to see what this is where hip hop's going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is this is. I don't. First of all, it's not sustainable. I don't think because no, how no, are you could how are you performing that live? Your vocal cords are going to be shot after two shows. Also, how could anyone listen to it? I couldn't even listen to. You couldn't get through one song. It's so bad. <laughs> it's a novelty. I feel fair, but I did see the Dead End Hip Hop Boys break down his video, and just seeing those guys. <laughs> like you know that that it's not it's not it's not for the faint-hearted who people who don't get triggered easily i think it triggers it, i want to see ray's live stream of it though <laughs> yeah i see. think we should do an episode where he has to sit through three six forty five ar videos <laughs> i'd love yeah, that no okay I've... okay well the history well, of i've been doing, i've been i've been meditating a lot recently and i've really got control of that that whole that whole situation <laughs> i don't think it'll be healthy <laughs> I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be a healthy thing. That's because we have that whole situation. Your anger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, that, just the rage. Just the rage. I, I, yeah, I don't. It's because we haven't done a debate in a while, mate. That's essentially why you're kind of zen right now. But as soon as we get the debate back out, you can make some more ridiculous claims. Um, I'm going to ruin what? your meditation. This, this Christmas, <laughs> when we do the best of the year, I'm going to ruin your. <laughs> what What have we got coming up, debate wise, for uh, a, little, uh, a little? We got a few ones. Me. I'm not actually. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even going to say. I was going to list down what the debates we're going to do next, but they may not turn up till spring, mate. Knowing us, so I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even going to probably no, no, list I'll, them yet. I'll need my fix before then. So. Um... Okay, okay. Now there'll be a few coming. There'll be a few coming. I'm not going to tease it too much because I've got a few. Ideas. And the overrated but... Iron Man is going down. So. um Iron Man is one of mine. I'm going to bring up... Oh, mate, don't even, yeah? Because Ghost... We need more Ghost in the pod. Overrated. Carry on. Okay, there we go. go. Right, so... Oh, that's one. Slick Rick. Can I bring Slick Rick to the... uh... Hundred uh, percent debate. Yeah. Okay. Hundred cool. percent. Yeah. I'd love to have some slip rick on the pod. Let's go. Um, yeah. Okay. That's uh, hip house, mate. I was listening to Jungle Brothers the other day, and I was listening to Redman, and they use hip house. Well, obviously Jungle Brothers are done hip house anyway. But like uh, Redman, at one point in the What album, he just breaks halfway through the track and just starts making a house track, and I completely missed that the first few times. Right? I was like, oh, Redman was just wilding out. Uh, Ray, what's your rap rotation? say mate um there's been quite a lot of um pretty hot shit's come out recently actually so um the big addition recently has been um deleted scenes like ransom that's he's just fucking he's so on point it's just yeah ransom it's, so, so, it's such a so satisfying to listen to it's like there is hope there is there is people <laughs> releasing music where guys actually like rhyme correct like, correctly just just rhyming correctly correctly, <laughs> correctly. okay that's this is how your you write ac- your academic view on a culture which is so vibrant and creative and and like just wilds out yeah mostly your incorrect academ- it's mostly incorrect <laughs> he's a hip-hop but- hitler yeah, <laughs> the boom bap crusader is what I call him because it feels like you're on this on this kind of. I don't. I think there are more people like you, mate. I do think there are, and I and I love the fact that you brought ransom because he does. I suppose he hits all those bullet points of yes, this is done right, but also fucking great. I love that album. Yeah, he's good, but a lot of yeah. it's got that whole kind of that whole new age what alchemist like. Let's make let's make music with no drums thing and that's but he, he does uh, use just, drums though he does use drums like, his yeah but he does do it without without as well like yeah. it's not a pro- there's no head nod beat behind it mm. well not not often anyway well anyway whatever ransom's one of them and then also obviously buster rhymes brought out that new album and half of it was shit and half of it was really fucking good it's and really long uh, wasn't it yeah it's a bit long some of it was sort of really 2000s like the sound of it but anyway yeah true indeed primo smashed it got going in going in tip on there is great as well i don't know i thought the buster album i liked it um i don't know if it's gonna last it's like to be fair it's like every single buster album for me as Mm. in the first like four months i will rinse that like genesis i was like this is amazing there's so many bangers on here then a year later i'm like oh i don't know like i said to you before about rtj it's that synthetic sound for me over the years, hmm. I don't rewind it as much. I don't know what it is, but the old dusty sound, I tend to rewind a lot more. So I, I have a feeling Buster's going to go the same way with me. But I really enjoy it. And I'm glad that he dropped something like that because Buster can still do it. He can still fucking rhyme. That's one, one the fucking... Yeah. It's in his name, so he better do. 
Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm kind of with that's you, mate. Good. I'm kind of with you. Ransom, Nicholas Craven's deleted scenes. Very good. People go check that out. Um, I've also, I have just only had it listened to it once, but Goody Mob's survival kit is different. <laughs> it's different, but it's, it, I Not kind of You used the word good there, did you? It's just different. <laughs> that <was> different, brother. <laughs> it, 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 well, I was going to say, I love it. I think it is good. Uh, it took me about three tracks in. I was like, mm, not really. I don't know about this. But then it just picks up and I was like, oh, okay, I'm, it's clicking. It clicked with me. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad they're back as well. They're just trying different things. And it's a bit more electronic. Uh, there isn't, I don't know, there isn't many sample Green tracks on, that. on there. All over it. CeeLo's all oh, over it. Ugh. But in Dungeon Family mode, so it's good. And okay, Andre's got good. an album, Andre's got a verse on there. They're all yeah, it's goody mob. They don't do anything simple. So it's kind of nice to get immersed in that. So yeah, fair play. Love that, guys. Uh, there has been some great stuff out, so I'm enjoying that you did bring that. So without further ado, the mailbag. Let's do this, lads. Right. So we asked a bunch of questions that have just emerged from all of our all of our ridiculous conversations on the pod. Uh, you, say, but- you say you say we, you mean you. Anyway. Yeah, essentially me. Essentially yeah. me trying to grow this, trying to grow this community, mate. I don't know if that's. I know, I do, I do. I appreciate that. Is that right? No, it you is a good a thing. It is a good thing, but, <laughs> but but you know some of the some of the questions. Like, some of the questions are great. Some of them are like, oh, really? Yeah. Well, oh, that's why. why, we, why well, that's why we. Why are you dreaming? Why, of, why are you dreaming yeah, about rappers? There's something in here. There's something in here. Why are you dreaming? Why are you dreaming about rappers? Why of not? All the things you, why why of not? all the things you can dream about. Not, not every one of us have got the uh, background to the elvish capital <laughs> behind us when we sleep, mate. Do you know what I mean? Some of Touché. us just have a plane and, uh, and uh, we, you know, we, don't get to, we don't get to dream those things. But <laughs> yeah. we are going to jump into dreams. Dreams is one of them. Uh, but before we jump in anywhere else, can I just big up, right? Shiraz Tyson, clearly a follower of the pod because uh, <laughs> they, they cottoned on to something that we talked about in one of the debates. Uh, I want to read this comment out on YouTube. If you guys are still wondering about who hurt corrupt, <laughs> so we were saying uh, corrupt yeah. sounds very angry against females generally in the later part of the uh, G Funk era, like peak. And he just really goes at women, and it felt like he was heartbroken. And uh, Shiraz Tyson has kind of nailed it. If you guys are still wondering about who who hurt corrupt, it was Il Nana Foxy Brown herself. <laughs> as they were an item for a few years and only ended when a certain DMX did a track on Foxy's second album called A Dog and a Fox. <laughs> Corrupt talks about it with Noriega on his Drink Champs pod, which I haven't checked clearly, but man, I- I'm kind of, it's I find it quite nice that a gangster rapper could have so much like hurt. <laughs> he's got feelings. He's got feelings yeah, too. So what feelings. you're saying, what you're trying to say for this is that corrupt misogyny is a woman's fault. That's what you're meant to say. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not okay. saying that. Just... What I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying was the angst and that, that, that heartbreak we all have as teenagers was personified, not in uh, fucking Carly Minogue and Jason, whatever his name is, on the, on the telly, number one hits, in corrupt having a massive go at women on Doggy Style. So <laughs> what I'm saying is he had feelings and yeah, thank you. He's thinking Shiraz ahead though. It's that. finance as well, isn't it? I mean, if he ever, you know, cared about a woman, he'd always be broke. Is uh, as he <laughs> as he as he says himself. I I, th- I think yeah. He wrote that crying in a room filled corrupt broke with official <laughs> <laughs> confirmed corrupt is broke. <laughs> corrupt wrote that crying oh. in his room full of presents he bought Foxy as he heard the DMX track and he was like oh man that's not right I don't know if the yeah, timelines are right yeah. oh, man. imagine hearing oh. one of your exes that you were still into for instance and you heard them and they were on a new song with another guy yeah and like yeah, that'd be really yeah, not, not the best, is it? Yeah. Not the best. But yeah, thank you for that correspondence. I'm not sure if the timelines line up there, though. Like, Corrupted that earlier, DMX came later. But either way, I like the story. And don't, just, you know what? Corrupt the legend. Corrupt's always been really moody and miserable like, about women. <laughs> so, like, yeah. that, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he has. Shut he up, has. Shiraz Tyson. <laughs> When I think, yeah. what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't, ever, it, don't ever email us again. 
No, do, do, no, don't do that. Do. <laughs> no, do the opposite of what Dambo just said. Uh, but it's just We're really supportive struggle. of growing this community, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so this, this is the whole mail, though. People mail in and then we either tell them never, ever to mail them <laughs> or you can mail in again. <laughs> again yeah. Very few of them. Yeah, and what a great way to pimp out the email address as well. Create808 at gmail.com. There you go, guys. Just to wind us all up. Don't don't email that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the other one we had, which we asked, um, it came from when DJ Yoda was on the pod, big up, and he was talking about how he had like madly crash on his couch during his nights. And we were thinking, who would be the worst and best rappers to crash on your couch? Uh, man, big up, DJ DS, uh, a, a follower on Twitter, fair play to you, mate, big up to yourself. Um, this is uh, kind of opening an avenue for us. Never had the pleasure, but I did hear a guy in here say he woke up and cool Keith was having breakfast with his mum, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I'm a massive cool Keith fan, but also having listened to pretty much everything he's ever done, I'm not able to look her in the eyes ever again which makes me think that cool keith bedded his mate's mum and his mate didn't know that's the woke up one day. isn't it that's the <laughs> yeah. That. yeah yeah and he woke up and they were having breakfast together uh i don't think i think okay cool keith is a little bit crazy but is there a worse rapper you'd want to see who's just bedded your not your mate's mum your yeah. mum it's not even that, bedded is, is it it's just that world. it's just that moment of like walking into the kitchen and seeing your mum your, your mum sat there with someone that moment of like Mum, oh, huh? And well, then <laughs> just the, the 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 reaction unrolling after after that, like filling in the blanks. Okay. And- so, so two questions on that then. Two, yeah, the reaction of that. Two questions then. One, who would you least want to see, right, sitting there with your mum eating breakfast? And two, who's a rapper that you would almost be almost like, oh, well done. And 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 also sit down and want to <laughs> and kind of want to talk to over I'm breakfast not, with your mum. So those I'm two, not, please. I'm not answering any either of those questions. <laughs> well, Jumbo, you had an answer there. I think Ray talked yeah, over. Because R from D12 would be the oh god no mum. Yeah, but then, I'm there. I think I'm if, there with you. If I came down and Freddie Gibbs was there, I'd be like, fair play. Like yeah, <laughs> he's a stunning. He's got stunning his top off. Yeah. yeah, you've said in previous episodes, I think you were admiring his, his torso from a live I was, kid. me and yeah. a woman in Brighton. As he I'd was, sit there uh, and go, yeah, Cam was right. <laughs> Not yeah. talk too much. <laughs> no, I wouldn't I talk, I just, admire, I just sit in the corner of the room admiring. <laughs> admiring both of them. Okay, Freddie gives us a shout. Okay, yeah. A bizarre, I'm completely with yeah, you that on bizarre, would be mate. Rough. That would be, yeah. lyrically, for one, mm. awful, and just an awful <laughs> man. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a He'd feeling. He'd be punching with my mum. He'd be punching massively. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling if it was someone like I don't know which way I'd go with this, but I feel LL would be nice. Like he'd sit there and at least he'd be a bit smooth. And oh be no, like, yeah. he'd his lips. Oh, the whole time you're looking. Fuck your, <laughs> your mum's be. Mm. <laughs> It'd be horrible. <laughs> Not in front of my mum. If he's like that, what he would do actually is anything I say at that breakfast, he'd turn around, put it in a wrap on the same wrap I'm on, and have a go at me about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he I would. Like that mic on your arm, say. LL. Don't talk about the fucking mic on my arm. No, he do wouldn't say it to you. Talk. He wouldn't say that. He'd go away to the studio and you just like you'd go away <laughs> thinking, oh, that was a great interaction with our We're mates. Yeah. No. Yeah. he'll be talking about you mum on a record love yeah. that okay ray you sure you don't have a rapper you don't want to see I'm, I'm amazed you don't you haven't got one. Oh, just so i don't want to see i don't want to see all rappers Is that what <laughs> there we go there, 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 he, there he goes jumping in first no there's no <laughs> one there's no one that gets to sit in that room yeah apart from eminem or rakim that's the thing you know Imagine Eminem and Rakim sitting in there. My mum would be like, oh. be, you know, both of them. Imagine, imagine the verbal somersaults during that sex session between us. <laughs> Just be like, this is a little bit like trigonometry, isn't it, Em? It is, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Just top and tailing. <laughs> Lyrics at Whilst I, eating the I whole wasn't, egg hole. Egg hole. I, I was just hole. talking about the conversation. I wasn't implying that anything had happened the previous evening. My mum would have woken up and been like, yeah. oh, yes, of course, that's, you know. Yeah. 
Okay, all right. right. Quick and McCurry is M and M and Rakim spit roasting. Right. Well. <laughs> okay, let's let's stop. That's this bit done. Right. No one else email about Ray. No, no markers here. So no <laughs> markers here whatsoever. Ray, Ray is no. We can't do that about Ray's mum. She's a lovely woman, and that's not right. <laughs> uh, but but <laughs> thank thank you, DJ DS DS for that uh, for starting that little uh, conundrum. Right. Anyone else out there who has got any of those? Add uh, him. Please. Add him to the list of people not to email again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> DJ it wasn't his fault <laughs> it wasn't his fault mate you the, you're the one who made that happen uh but as ray alluded to earlier uh we did ask for what are the we, we didn't i did i asked for what are the weirdest dreams you've had of a rapper I, I feel this is one that ray doesn't like this question but it did come out from when i woke up uh dreaming i'd skied with jizza and I've never skied, I've never met Jizza, but it was great that we had that experience together at that time. I'm wondering if he was a flat earther then, because that might have ruined the skiing thing for me. But, you know, I don't even know if he's a flat earther, but there's rumours. Can you rumors ski if the on. earth is flat? No. You just stay there we where go. you are. <laughs> Very true, very true. Um, I don't think they're arguing it's completely flat, though, are Oh, they? that was the joke, Ray. Jeez. I know, that was no, the way, but no. No, Hold be on. accurate, okay? MC it's, literal this is, in the house. Be concise in your speech. <laughs> this is one of the 12 rules written by Jordan Peterson. Yes, oh, he shoehorned it. Oh, he shoehorned it in there. He got it in there. <laughs> How's Jordan Peterson yes. world suiting you at the moment? Then as he's been all over the place over the last... Are you still, are you still making your bed in the morning? I mean, you are, literally. We just saw it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah. He's not there making the bed. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, no Jordan's Pizza. Every morning as a protest against Jordan Pizza. <laughs> you just deliberately don't make your bed. That's no, I fine. shit in it every morning just to spy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Uh, so, on the weirdest rappers, uh, Fanta Cassis, uh, big up. Uh, this is this is one that I thought was quite interesting. I once dreamt I broke into Method Man's house and hid under his bed. He was cool with it, though. <laughs> so that, that's, that's, that's the first level. I obviously had to apply to that. So then he said, uh, after he found me under his bed, he posed for a photo, and I'm pretty sure I checked my phone when I woke up to see if it was there. <laughs> fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. And you know what? I think Meth would do that. I think he'd be initially shocked, but I think after a while, maybe after a zoo, he'd probably be like, go on then, let's have a quick photo. What, what were you guys saying to this one? Just imagine that disappointment. You know, when you check your, you're like, hang, hang on a second. Oh. <laughs> just, just flicking through and then like realizing you, you've got, you've flicked back to 2015. You're like, no, no it's not there. Nothing, not there. nothing. 2015. Oh, that's a big library you got there, mate. Uh, <laughs> what? So, no weird, weird, weird dreams from you boys? Nothing? No, no weird, no weird dreams. dreams? Weird dreams about our rappers? No. no. Oh, wet dreams. I feel, if we were going to do wet dreams, dreams. About those. do you know what? Uh, probably when I was a kid, Foxy and Lil, Lil Kim was probably up there for wet dreams, to be fair. Let's be Biggie honest. Watching. kids. How did this go down talking about rappers shagging our mums and wet dreams about rapper? How did it start? We're talking about fucking know. mailbag, okay? Yeah, this is the mailbag. There's, there's more, there's nicer things in the mailbag, more concrete, fully Let's culturally skip. rich stuff. Let's skip to them. Let's skip to them, shall we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah, is Fanta just the fun never, never email us again, Fanta <laughs> <laughs> I like Fanta I think fair play to never email us again. Okay, another fun one then. Ridiculous lyrics. Um, on this right uh, and i know this is probably going to anger ray more than jambo but there were f a few lyrics i heard recently from uh travis scott's latest track uh with mia who i love i love mia uh, so that's the caveat there but these lyrics i i heard the first time and i guffawed because i just thought of ray hearing these and after everything you just said about correct hip-hop um her lyrics go Excuse me, z z z z z z z z z don't be missing man, Mississippi, dipper sippy, make me happy, make them copy, make them chippy chippy, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, that was, that was shit. Yeah, right. I, I, it made me laugh, but she makes it sound good. Ray, thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I'll read about it again for you. I'll read about it again for you. Excuse me. This is a 90s hip hop. It's a 90s hip hop podcast. True, true. That's a very good out. You could have that out all the time. Just, to, I like the way you're managing the anger. Look, look, you can see it in him. He's, you know. I mean, that's not, that's not 90s hip hop. And I'd argue that it's not hip hop. And I'd argue that it's not music. And I'd argue that it's not rhyming. And I'd argue that it's not <laughs> worth listening to. Why? Why? It's just. Okay. All right. Okay. The thing, no, thing is, look, I don't want to be all negative. Like, people enjoying 
creating something and putting it out mm. there is great. I'm never going to fucking listen to it, but it's, you know, fair play to you. And I think you've got to start somewhere and yeah. maybe one day she'll be great. But that's okay. not. <laughs> that's fucking, that's fucking, fucking dog shit. That's fucking, fucking well, dog shit. Where do you stand on something like this then? Sam Young, big up. This is another one he sent in. And this is 90s hip hop. I want to know where you stand on it. Daz FX, mic checker. Riggedy, rig, riggedy, raw, ziggity, gadzookus, here I go. So, fliggity flame on good Geronimo. I biggity burn, riggity rubber when I blabber great. I miggity make the... Right, you get the you get the gist, right? Where do you stand on that, Ray? Where do you stand That's on the That's fucking diggity incredible. Diggity? It's fucking 90s <laughs> yeah. hip hop. And plus the beats is so... Plus, that's the effects is all boom bat beats. And it's yeah, like... I, I know it is a little riggity wrist, diggity, diggity that, but... It also makes sense, and it's also let's oh let's just see if well, that makes sense. Look, just want to make that sense. Look, some things. Zig- <laughs> just want to see if it makes sense. It does. It does in a weird way. It does in a weird way make sense. You're right. Yeah, yeah. A friggity freak Gladys Knights and those freaking pips. You're right. It does. It makes Boom. sense. See? You're right. Daz effects better than MIA. Love it. Thank you, Sam yeah. Young, for that. Coming coming uh, soon to a debate near you as well. Are they not? They are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they yeah. are. They are. They are. Uh, other ludicrous lyrics. Hugh Bates, big up Hugh, long time follower of the pod. This isn't nineties, Ray, but it is Tony Yeo, right? Project Princess. Mm-hmm. I'd never heard this lyric before because I'm not much up on to Tony Yeo, but I'm sure that'd be corrected after this. Um, don't glance at the jewels. You can't afford this. My cr- my my wrist, your car note. My chain, your mortgage. That's good. I like that. I go downtown and lick my tongue, searching my head between your legs. I eat your fur burger. That that's. I've not heard That's many. <laughs> who right? Who wants a fur burger in the first place? Nobody, right? And two, just not very. Just just finesse it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's a bit too literal, if you know what I mean. I don't want it. Thoughts? I feel like this episode's gone just really unnecessarily sexual. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of sexual references. Yeah, we need to. We isn't need there? To, but we did. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. Why? It's We're usually down, a PG baby. podcast. We're usually a PG podcast, and this has gone. That's the mailbag for you, mate. That's our listeners. <laughs> that's what, they, is, that's yeah. what they've got on their brains. Yeah. So, and then next up, we also asked about the worst merch you've ever bought. Rap merch, preferably, but generally merch is always good. And James Hamlin may have got the shout for the <laughs> best merch. He never bought this, right? But I'll put this on our Insta. I'll put it on our oh, it's uh, yeah, gold. It's pure yeah, it's gold. Twitter. Uh, but he said. Um, Thankfully, I didn't purchase this, but the official merch being sold at the Kanye Kanye West Hammersmith show is incredible to say this man is a fashion mogul, if, if that's what you want to call him. Uh, please, guys, please speak on this, what looks like a Union Jack just printed with bold black type on a T-shirt. <laughs> it's so generic. It's so with bad. With a day as well. It's terrible. Yeah, also, yeah, on yeah. the front, it's got like a little logo here. I thought it was just some random merch that was mm. like someone had made, like some knockoff merch. But it's actually got a logo that says KWUK and a little logo, which I assume is Kanye West UK. So it is official <laughs> merch. Oh, it's my so God. Bad. £25 for this piece of absolute shit. I'm not going to lie to you. Someone's yes. bought that. Someone's bought that. Definitely. Yeah, someone's bought that. Sorry, but it's 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 up there as shout for worst merch. Yeah, Yeezy, Yeezy season 2013 was not good by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Imagine him trying to bring this onto the fucking catwalk. No thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, so that, 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 thank you for that. Uh, what's the worst merch you boys have bought? I, need I can to, tell I you mine if you. you want. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> that was James pointing to his crate 808 hoodie. It's the best, which you can buy. It's so soft. It's really soft. It's a really soft. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Oh, very okay. Nice. Yeah, okay. Good. So is, good. So is the t-shirt. I quite like him. Yeah, I like yeah. the t-shirt. I'm the one that didn't read the memo and I didn't put my crate 808 hoodie on or anything. Sorry, but but <laughs> I, I like that merch. Uh, thank you. That, that, I'm glad that was up there as the worst merch. Uh, so, <laughs> next it's not, up, it's the best. The best I know, I know. We also had Ray's ludicrous, and I'm going to still call them ludicrous, uh, takes on one of our uh, debates. One was, 
that Q U Hectic is the worst beat of 1995. You're a fucking. Stand was that you it. who said that? Was that you yeah, who said by. that? I was reading that in the notes. Like, <laughs> who the fuck said that? That's an, <laughs> I was about to tear into one of the listeners. I was about to it's be like, out never tune email again. With itself. It's out of tune with itself. It's, it's not. Just, oh, no. You You're right of tune with yourself. You don't, you don't know saying. music. What do you, what That's a banging beat. Like, That's what are you... a dark beat. That is a wicked beat. I love Q U Hectic, man. But we had some no, response on no, this. No, you don't. No, you don't love it. And neither do you. I'm, I can't. I don't know if you can distinguish if I'm pointing between you, but <laughs> neither of you love them. You're just saying it for the sake of it. It's an irrelevant if you beat. It's if a you throwaway got tune. The, uh, video here, <clears throat> listeners. Ray, Hip Hop Hitler just had his calipers out. <laughs> measuring hip hop, and we didn't we didn't like measure up. Yeah, there. yeah, we didn't measure up at all, at all. His view of what that's a, well, that's a Nazi Germany reference, by the way, for all you yeah who don't war heads, history. all the war history and heads history heads. Uh, <laughs> well, Ray, I think you've been caught short, mate. I think I think it's it's been just absolutely te- uh, took taken out of the mix with your take because first of all, Amit well, Arya, so. big up, right. This is this is a this is a take. Easy E's automobile yeah, from the 1985 terrible. album Eternal E. It's yeah, it's a level. But it's a it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke track. It's like the big. E. Been, Why yeah. was everyone in '95 doing like <laughs> joke tracks? '95 <laughs> <laughs> no was a great I, year. No, everyone was suddenly like, let's do a singing joke track on our album. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe. I think that is possibly one of the worst tracks I've heard generally in in general <laughs> rap it is but awful. ray yeah but yeah. E- easy is not that's not a serious competitor like did, did, was he writing his own rhymes at that time and if he did it, like he's not he came into prominence from r- reading from rapping rhymes that other people wrote for him and Hold then he was doing what are we talking about the caveats here are ridiculous. You're putting more and more caveats into this claim you made. Your claim was it's the worst beat in 1995, right? Nothing about who's written what or whatever. It's a beat on a hip hop album. This is the worst beat. Well, one of if anybody's got worse than Easy E's automobile, let's go. But I've I got don't some think I've got some worse beats. Oh, what than that? The, no, not than automobile actually, but of Q than Q U hectic. I've definitely got. Go on. What what have you got? I didn't go for anything that was like. There is obviously there's going to be like DJ shit the bed who's terrible like making hip hop. Like, there's going to be oh, worse beats underrated. made, but DJ like in terms best. of top level hip hop, like I was think I went to like Me Against the World. There's a couple of tracks on Me Against the World, like Heavy in the Game and Fuck the World. Heavy in the Ooh. Game sounds like it is out of tune with itself. It's got this. It's interesting that Ray said that because it does. Heavy in the Game is probably worse than Q U Hectic. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then I, here's a controversial one. Big L's MVP. Sorry, I like Big that L's... track. No, once you've heard, <laughs> uh, <laughs> once you've heard one more chance remix, you are kind of like, oh, Big L's MVP sounds out of tune. Uh. So it sounds offbeat, and I don't like it as much. So yeah, yeah okay, sorry. yeah, fair. Is it? I love Big L. I'm a, I love Big L, but like that beat, not yeah. in that, not feeling it, not, not feeling not, it. Right. I, I want this quest to go on. So instead of just calling it Q U Hectic, because I'll be honest. I think these beats are a level below it, mate. If we, if we nah. just try to find, can we just find the worst beat? worst beat <laughs> of 1995? <laughs> Done. Right, Ray's is, Ray's not going to move from this. <laughs> he's he's called he He's he's like those um, uh, Native American warriors, you know, that just kind of stamp themselves into the ground and are ready to fight and not move. That's what Ray's doing right now. He's not going to move from this. So it's just between me and you and James. Uh, so we'll, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just talk about it ourselves. But people out there, if you're listening and watching, worst beat of 1995, bring it to the table. We will shout you out. Um, and the last one, you also said, and, and I don't think it's that bad a claim, actually. This wasn't that bad a claim. But you said that Raekwon's best verse ever is on Screw It on the Barbie on um, Equemini. Stand by. I, I could probably put that in Good. Ray's top 10. It's an incredible verse. Incredible. But we did have some response to it. And what did, did you have any there, Jambo, of, of responses yeah, to this it's one? without a doubt. I'm not the biggest Raekwon fan. I do love him but a lot of his verses blend in but his verse on mm. daytona 500 is just unreal it's one of the best opening like three or four bars of a rap ever mm. it's just great so yeah yeah that's that's yeah. my 
that's my top okay one. i like it i like it i think again this is just a reason to celebrate raekwon isn't it really but i think that's a wicked beat there was a wicked verse i think there's moments he's done after i really liked him on um dark twisted fantasy i really like that verse on on i can't remember what the track is is it glorious or gorgeous can't remember either way i'm awful with track names but yeah, him on that is be, yeah yeah, that's the one. And um, and also, Craig Bass, big up, uh, e- e- emailed in and he said the verse on the morning from the Kanye collab album was crazy. So that's another one that I thought was quite good. And Darcy mm, O'Connor, big up. Yeah, Darcy O'Connor, big up. He said... Um, uh-huh. uh, Hold on. Do, 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 do. Uh, he also shouted out Daytona. So I think a lot of people are going to say that it is one of the best verses he's ever done. Um, but he shined, it, and this is interesting. He said he rips shit at 100 beats per minute, but at 90 beats per minute, like Cream and Bring the Ruckus, he also shines on that. Really technical. I like this, Darcy. I like it. Uh, his verses 93 were just amazing. Right. Hold on. Got it. Uh, his verses in '93 were just amazing, and uh, yeah, and he then give me 13 best Raekwon verses on YouTube, which I've still to check out. I've still not actually checked that out yet, so I need to check that out. But anyone else out there who's got better Raekwon verses than Skew It on the Barbie, hit us up, especially from his solo stuff, because I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot of his solo stuff, so I'm ready. I'm ready for a few gems in there. So there you go. What a oh, I really enjoyed that mailbag episode. I think we got to a lot of like. <laughs> Well, first of all, we got to see Ray's bedroom. I think that's the winning thing out of all of this, right? I mean, that's the thing that wins. And we got to think about Ray's mum in a nice way, in a nice way, as opposed to the way it was going, because I made that sure that no one's going to ever talk about her again. And two, I, a two, this is third, isn't it? Third, I thought, I thought that, you know what? Fair play to this community for bring in this fire we've got loads more we're going to try to separate these put them into mailbag episodes as a go create 808 at gmail.com go check us out email us we've got a newsletter coming up so we try to print some of these in the newsletter right right try to put some of these yes in the do that as well. boom yeah send boom. us your emails and then we'll ban you and then you'll not have to do it again so just get going <laughs> on it <laughs> you only got to do one everyone's only going to do one love it okay uh so lads thank Three you for joining me with. yeah there we go Thank you for joining me on this uh, little escapade. Uh, we're going to jump back into our debates and our ongoing series, trying to, you know, discussing the best three album run in the 90s. We've got a load of great people on there talking about that. And we've got our interviews coming up as well. So check out those in the pod canon. And lads, we're going to do an end of year album show, aren't we? Like best albums we of the year. We are. Any, any, another, any... It's another one. I just, I keep winning these, don't I? That's the thing with it. I don't uh, think it's competition, but I think it's just a listing. Of it is. It is. You can't, is, say, isn't keep, it? You can't is, say, isn't say keep winning it. You only won once. <laughs> He's like, won one. We've, I, we've I, only I had, we've only had one. We've only had one. It was my vote. We? Yeah, but keep, oh, yeah. But Jeff has multiple ones. Oh, I keep winning this. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot in 2019 we did actually make a vote thing, didn't we? We might have to bring that back for this. Yeah, and I was the the, yeah. the vote, and I gave him the vote. So if anything, that was like a nice peace offering. I won it for you. Yeah, it was a nice peace offering. To be fair, we've already established uh, that I'm bringing Eminem, Black Thought, and Buster Rhymes, though, right? Yeah, I've already shotgunned those albums. Oh, right? do you know what? Cool. I was you. asking. Carry on. I was going to ask for a little <clears throat> teaser uh, from you guys, but is that your teaser? Okay, okay, yeah. all right, okay. <laughs> I just want the Eminem chat again, I suppose. Uh, You're bringing Eminem. You're honestly bringing Eminem. I, 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 I blanked out on that for a second. Now I'm just no, woke I just, up. I just thought I'd, <laughs> just thought I'd suck you in a little bit. Here, here we go. Oh, here yeah. we go. <laughs> you know, it's just going to be five ransom albums. That's all it is, mate. It's just going to be it is. five yeah. ransom projects. That's what we've got. Mine's going to be 645 AR albums. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Okay. Are you, are you going to hold it stum there, Jambo? You're not going to give us a little teaser? Mm. No, I'm not no. going to give you a teaser just yet. Although okay. uh, there's a couple from the mid-year one that we did that will definitely make it. Yeah, I've, I have a feeling some of those mid-year ones. If you haven't yeah. checked those, go check them out in the pod, uh, in the on the library. But, I'm um, just going to yes. bring all West Side Gun albums because he's released about 20 of them this year. Yeah, so he's released about 20, yeah. And, uh, do you know what? You could do a top three Griselda You could you do could a think, top I think... 20 that album. <laughs> no, but actually, no, but actually... Griselda. <laughs> Boldy James, Boldy but, James' latest is fire. It's ridiculous. What's that no, tune called? The one that I can't remember. Where it is. Oh, it's, it's, I, when it's you say latest, in. you don't mean Harry Frauds. You mean um, uh, with uh, Sterling Tolls. You talk about that one. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, an yeah. album! That's probably Jesus Christ. That De- Detroit River, Detroit River Rock right. tune. 
it's, it's incredible fucking mind-blowingly ridiculous yeah Medusa i'm bringing that well. i'm bringing that album as well i'm no, shotgunning that album bagsy i've already bagsied it bagsied it <laughs> i bagsied it but i heard it mate that's by Bagsy the way uh, <laughs> main draw mcnichols he's talking about there for people who are like what's this baldy james thing so yeah that's the one go check that out as well the radiohead rap record of the year that's what i'm calling it so Oh, there nice. you go. Like it, like it. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, man. It's streaming now as well, so you can get it on Spotify. <clears throat> um, so, Wicked, people, go out there, get your merch, subscribe, as we said, like, share, tell your mum to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Let's not talk about mums anymore. And lads, I will catch you on the <laughs> flip side. <laughs> Boom. See you later. See you later. Bye.